Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into exciting world of generative AI for Android development. We will be exploring how to leverage the power of Gemini AI within Android Studio to streamline your workflow. Before we jump in, let's quickly understand what Gemini AI brings to the table. Gemini AI is a powerful generative AI model from Google designed to assist developers with various tasks. In Android Studio, it acts as your interactive co-pilot offering real-time help and insights. So let's see how we can use Gemini AI in Android Studio. There are two main ways to utilize Gemini AI in Android Studio. First one is through direct chat interface and the second one is context aware assistant. To open Gemini, first what we need to do is that we have to go to this main menu. In main menu, we have to go to this view menu. In view, there is tool window sub menu and in this tool window sub menu, we are having this menu like Gemini as you can see over here. So on clicking Gemini, we can start our Gemini. Okay. There is another shortcut which is being provided to us on the right toolbar of our Android Studio which is over here. You can see a Gemini logo over here and on clicking this Gemini logo, Gemini will start over here. In order to use the facility of Gemini in Android Studio, first thing that we need to do is that we need to log in to Google. So in order to do login, we need to click on this login to Google button, which has been provided over here. Okay. Then we have to select our account. Then we have to say continue. And then we have to allow Okay, so as you can see this screen success, so it means that we can go back to our Android Studio and can use AI Gemini in our Android Studio. Okay. Okay, so as you can see some instructions are being provided over here, then we have to click on this next button. So you have to be at least 18 years of age to use this Gemini in Android Studio. And then we have to click on this checkbox and we have to say okay. uh, we are being provided with three options to select the privacy setting over here to use the context from your project to improve response, ask to decide per project, do not use context from any project. So what I am doing is that I am selecting this first option over here. I am allowing and then I have to click on this finish button. Okay. So over here we have started with this particular facility. As we have discussed that uh, the, uh, there are two ways in which we can use an uh, Gemini in Android Studio. The first one that we have discussed is uh, through a direct chat interface so as we can see that over here the over here there is a directly chat interface which has been provided to us and over here we can directly post down the questions that we want uh, the Gemini should answer for example
how to create an camera based application click on submit so it will give us steps okay so it had given us complete code check the camera hardware then request camera permission then create camera preview then um, open the camera so whenever you want you can copy over here copy the code from over here and we can paste it over here where we want that particular code to be used okay then uh, set the camera preview create a capture and image handle the capture image release the so in detail each and every step code is been provided and if we require some kind of help the reference is also provided to us okay second way is through a context aware assistant in this case what we need to do is that whatever the portion for which we required a help we will be selecting that portion like for this i am selecting this portion and after selecting the portion we have to right click on it and then we are having a pop up menu will be displayed in that pop up menu if you want an explanation for this code we will click on this explain code we have to say send this selected text to gemini server for analysis so we have to click on this yes button so as you can see on the right hand side the code gets appeared and after that we can see the explanation of this particular code okay next one is that the second option that we are having suggest the improvement so we will be clicking on this suggest improvement section again if you don't want to ask for the confirmation next time we'll click on this check box and we have to say yes so as you can see that over here we are being provided with the uh, suggestion so if you want we can use that particular suggestion over here so instead of a uh, scaffold they are saying that you have to use a surface so if you want you can copy paste this section and uh, after copy pasting this section we can paste it over so it totally depends on you if you want some another imp uh, improvement in the same code you can type down the things over here and you can do the modification in the uh, suggestion which is been provided by the gemini okay so definitely gemini will help us in improving our development process gemini ai presents a revolutionary approach to android development by offering an interactive in assistance and the ability to integrate generative ai features it empowers developers to be more productive and innovative so fire up android studio unleash the power of Gemini and take your app development to next level. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any question about Gemini AI or Android Studio in general. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thank you.